Hello, I'm Heather Brown. And I'm Lindsay Malone. And welcome to a special edition of Santa Barbara Newswire. You're probably wondering where we are. For those of you who don't know, we're at the beautiful campus of Santa Barbara City College. We're here to talk with the current Santa Barbara City College president, John Romo, about an important measure that will be on the upcoming June 3rd ballots. Now this proposed measure, titled Measure V, will be asking you, the voters, to approve a $77.2 million bond that will qualify Santa Barbara City College for up to $92 million in state matching funds for 11 projects on campus. Ten of these projects involve renovations on the existing buildings, while one project in particular will provide funding for the School of Media Arts facility. Santa Barbara City College needs Measure V because, um, well, there are two very important reasons. Uh, the ten projects that are included in Measure V, uh, the eleven projects, excuse me, uh, ten of them are core infrastructure projects. They're buildings that are already on our three campuses and they are building some of, one of which was built in the 30s, the others were built in the 60s and 70s, and uh, they are in serious need of major rehabilitation and, re and restoration. Uh, this, the second reason that's directly related is that the state, from state funding, gives us less and less money for capital construction, and they expect colleges to raise the money more locally and one of the way, ways to generate with money for these kinds of projects is through going out for a bond election. The way it's funded is that we're, what we're doing is we're going out to the, the community and uh, our community is uh, from Carpinteria to El Capitan and the mountains to the ocean. So everybody who lives in that area uh, gets to vote on this bond. It's, uh, it'll be on the ballot June 2nd. Uh, excuse me, June 3rd, and uh, we're asking the voters to uh, support a bond at a level of $77 million. Uh, that means that that allows the college, the district, Santa Barbara City College, to go out and issue bonds to do the projects. The projects that we've included, uh, we're, they'll probably be spaced out over about a 12, 15 year period, so we don't do it all at once, but it's to get the money in dedicated or at least accessible so that we can go out for these projects. The reason we went out and uh, uh, we hired a professional company to do uh, some polling to see if, we, if there was support for this and uh, the, the results were very positive both in terms of the um, how people what people feel about this college and uh, also about the passage of a bond. Uh, I'm proud that the, um, the first question was what are your feelings about Santa Barbara City College? And then, you know, the kind of the scale from, I don't know anything about it, I don't like it, I like it, and I like it very much, that kind of thing. They said they had never had such high positive response to a college polling. So this community really likes City College uh, in terms of our credit program and our huge adult debt program that serves 50,000 unduplicated headcount every year. So that was very gratifying. The result, the question about the bond also showed a positive response. Um, and so we then also did some phone interviews and, um, and we really came down to uh, trying to figure out when to go out for a bond. And the feeling was it's better to go out in June and not November. And so that's why we'll be on the June ballot. And um, it's, uh, there's not much else on that ballot uh, and we're the only local initiative so um, it was just felt that would be helpful. But what I really want the community to know is that um, we spent over a year and a half really evaluating what were our core projects. And these 10 projects that are the re refurbishment projects, the restoration, the rehabilitation projects, uh, these are the core projects. We have many other needs, believe me, but we just felt we wanted to go out with those things that were absolutely essential. The School of Media Arts is huge for this community. This is, this is one of the most dynamic and exciting uh, curriculum uh, directions that we've taken in the last six years. We already have the programs, but this building will allow us to take these programs that are now scattered all over campus and put them in a 60,000 square foot state-of-the-art uh, building that is built to silver standard LEEDS certification. It's a sustain, it will make LEED certification in terms of sustainability a building that the Coastal Commission has just very recently praised because of some redesigned things we did that would have less effect on the environment, you know, kind of the environmental quality around it. 
And so it's a very high quality building, very uh, uh, responsibly uh, developed building in terms of our community and will allow us to bring all these departments together. And th these, these, this is the future, this is the now. So there you have it, Measure V will be on the upcoming June 3rd ballot. For more information, you can call the President's Office at 730-3000 or go online at www.sbcc.edu and click on Measure V. Also, don't forget, you can get repeats of this news pod on Channel 21 or on the SB Channel's website by clicking on the SB Newswire link. Be informed and know what's going on in your community. For SB Newswire, I'm Heather Brown. And I'm Lindsay Malone. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.